Time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Brought to you by New Stop It, America's leading spray deodorant. Now with its anti-immunity factor. Poof, there goes perspiration. Now let's all play What's My Line? And now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in the New York Journal American and papers coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And on my left, the young gentleman who stars in his own television show five nights a week here in New York, Mr. Steve Allen. Thank you. And on my left, one of the lovely ladies of radio and television who has seen in her own program on another network, Miss Arlene Francis. Congratulations. <laughs> and on my left, a gentleman who, when he isn't lecturing around the country, uh, brilliantly publishes at Random House, the attractive husband of Phyllis, Mr. Bennett Sir. Oh. <laughs> well, you can see why theater arts, and it's my issue, on a piece in What's My Line, calls Arlene the flirtatious member of the panel. <gasps> <laughs> and on the left, I discover that not only we have a preeminent news analyst and panel moderator, but the late star of the front page, Mr. John Charles Daly. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. Once again tonight, we've invited some friends from uh, here and there around these United States to come and visit, and they brought with them some interesting occupations, which... I'm sure we're going to give the panel some trouble tonight. We hope so, so that our guests will have some prizes. We're going to have a famous guest challenger a bit later on, but I think it's time now to get things rolling. It's time for the experts to meet our first challenger whose job they're going to have to spot. So would you sign in, please, sir? Jack? Jack London. Well... I've always enjoyed your books. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. London, where are you from? New York City. New York City. Well, and I don't think you really need to be told much about the panel, but they haven't had a chance to get a look at you, so I suppose you go over and give them a chance. Sir, will you please? London, I notice you're left-handed. You do everything left-handed? Most of the time. Work left-handed, too? Yes. Hello, Mr. Hello, London. Hello, London. You see if you have any calluses, sir? Slight? Could I see what your right muscle is like? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. London, will you come over here and sit down next to me, please? And I uh, think probably you know at this point the panel gets one free guess as to what your line may be. We always begin the free guesses with Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. I think he's a dancing teacher. A dancing teacher, Mr. Allen. I think this Jack London is an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. I think he runs a bowling alley. Mr. Sir. I think he makes those scratchy pens you find in post, find in post office. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mr. London. At the same time, we'll tell them what his line is. And the panel's better day. <laughs> All right, Mr. London, I think you know the scoring routine yes, I here. How we'll it works. flip a card every time you say no, legitimately, Fine. that is. And then you're off and running when you've got 10 no's, you've won. All right. All right, Mr. London is self-employed. With that, let's begin the general questioning with um, Arlene Francis. Mr. London, is there a product involved in what you do? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. I presume then, Mr. London, that you perform a service. Yes. Would you say that this... Uh... <laughs> well, it is a service, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Would you have any idea why they're laughing at that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a service that you perform for human beings? Yes. Is it performed uh, indiscriminately for both sexes? Yes. Uh, is it performed for both adults and wee ones? No. Well, small conference. By wee ones, I don't mean midgets. <laughs> yes. Oh, you don't mean... Oh, well, actually, you, you, we, you're not talking about babes and I arms. didn't say a word. No, you mean it. All right, you All go right. ahead. It, it can be, uh, the service can be uh, utilized by children as well as adults. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, would you say that this service benefited the people that you yes. performed it for? 
<laughs> yes, I would say that um, we could say, using the term in its broadest sense, that they are benefited, yes. Are they changed in any particular by the service you perform for them? Well, I don't think so. No, no I don't think no. so. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you move about at all in your work? Yes. Uh, you don't just sit in an office behind a desk? No. Yes, he does not sit in an office behind a desk. Uh, no. Yeah. Do you wear ordinary clothes rather than a uniform when you work? Well, careful. Rather than small conferences. <laughs> I mean, most of the time. <laughs> not when he's sleeping, you mean? Well, I would say that um, we would have to give you a no, Dorothy, because I think that we would have to consider that although the garb were not untoward, it did here take on at least the coloration of uniform and oh, uh, special You made clothing. that sound almost Shakespearean, John. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Mr. Allen. Do you generally perform your service indoors? Yes. Uh, would you call yours a white-collar job? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> wonder why that's funny. Uh, are you, uh, is any special education or training required yes. for the job you do? There's training. I think you'd need some training, yeah. Wouldn't you? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Do you by any chance work for a non-profit making organization? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> More down and six to go, Miss Francis. Do you have any other than Mr. Would you give us a... Well, like the doctor right or... Oh, you mean lawyer, a title that... Any kind of a degree at all? No. No, no. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. London, uh, this uh, job, the service that you perform, you say you wear some kind of a costume or uniform. Is that correct? Yes. yes. It could be broadly described. Might it be a, a blue uniform with brass buttons? Might you be an officer of some sort? No. No. Six no. down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. London, when you came in, I noticed that you were rather athletic looking. Uh, does strength or uh, dexterity of any type have anything to do with your work? That's two mm -hmm. answers. Well, I mean, yes. I, in taking the group, we'd say yes, I yes. think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, taking what, John? Taking the double question, we'd give you a yes to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not specifying whether it's strength or dexterity, since you grouped the two in the question. Well, uh, does agility have anything to do <coughs> with your work? Agility it could help. I'm... Well, yes, then. Might. Mm -hmm. a... Do you use your feet in your work? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Stand out and three to go, Mr. Allen. Do other people use their feet on you in any way? <laughs> <laughs> no. Eight thousand two. Do you so touch the people you. that you come in contact with? Yes. Uh, do you in any way subdue the people you come in contact with? Oh, you mean forcibly retain them or detain them in some way? The other. Is that what you nine, mean? Uh, nine, nine, nine. What to go, Mr. Sir? Mr. London, have you got anything to do with sports or entertainment? Yes. Ah, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Would you say sport, something to do with the sporting world? The sporting world? No. 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 That's right. <laughs> Ten down and no more to go oh, and hang oh, on to your hats now because Mr. London is a professional pickpocket. <laughs> Please? Go ahead a minute. What do you mean by professional What do you mean by that? He entertains, an entertaining professional pickpocket. Mr. Surf, will you come up on the stage? By the time you leave, he's got everything, including your eyeglasses, your wristwatch, <laughs> and everything like that, you know? So he got the full prize. Now let's see what you can do with the second challenger. Would you sign in, please, ma'am? Estelle... <clears throat> Estelle Gill. Is that right? <laughs> Is it Miss or Mrs.? Mrs. Gill, and where are you from, Mrs. Gill? Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles, California. Well, how nice to have somebody from the West Coast come all the way to visit us here. And the panel, I think, needs to know you a bit better since you've come so far away. So will you go over and see them, please? Mrs. Gill, would you do a mamba step for me? <laughs> as long as I'm up, you can do it with me. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, Mrs. Gill, let's come over here and we'll do the mamba step together. Maybe later on, all right? 
Well, now, as you know, the panel gets one free guess. We begin the free guesses with Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. I think that Mrs. Gill is a palm reader. A palm reader, Mr. Allen. I think she's a stand-in for Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. I think she's a trick uh, uh, performer. You know, falls off buildings, doubles. That's what I mean. Doubles. Mrs. Sir. Mrs. Gill's the kind of girl Harry Brand usually picks for private secretary at Fox. Oh, no, I'm afraid not. Let our viewers have a further look at Mrs. Gill from Los Angeles. At the same time, we'll tell them what her line is. And then the panel. Right. All right, Mrs. Gill, do you know the scoring routine? And we flip the cards every time you give a no answer. All right, now, Mrs. Gill is salaried. And let's begin the general questioning with uh, Steve Allen. Is there a product connected with your work, Mrs. Gill? Yes. Uh, might it ever be found in the home? Yes. Might I ever use this product? Yes. <laughs> I've got you a might. sticker from the audience. Uh, I wonder if I were to use this product right here and now, would it get quite a chuckle? <laughs> I guess it would. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. If Dorothy is... Dorothy, how are you? Fine. If, uh, <laughs> if Susan Bell and Mary Jane here were to... Uh, if Dorothy and Arlene were to use the product right here and now, might we possibly receive a few nasty letters? <laughs> I think we might receive one or two nasty letters if they were to use it right here and now. Would we yes. stay on the air? <laughs> <laughs> Wonder what you could do that would be objectionable on the air. Well, I won't do it, whatever it is. <laughs> might this product by any chance uh, come in a bottle? Yes. It might. <laughs> Um, are there some people who never touch this stuff at all? Yes. There are. I take it, since this program goes into the home, this is not a hard liquor like a whiskey or a beer or something of that sort, or... Uh, you take it, it is not... Whiskey or gin or something along that line. You take it, it is not. It is not. That's it right. It is not. <laughs> uh, let me see then. Uh, does this ever have a head on it, a foamy uh, head? <laughs> does it ever have a foamy head on it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't, we have a I don't think we need a comment. No. I think we'd have to give you a no on that. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Did you, but, oh, somebody thinks it has a foamy head. Or two. <laughs> I think I have a foamy head. <laughs> <laughs> Is this know. something you could buy in a drugstore? Yes. Is it, uh, uh, does it have a soap quality of any kind? Yes and no. Yes and no? Yeah. Is it liquid in form? Comes in a bottle, it's either liquid or pills. In my bottles, that is. I'd have to have a small conference. I'll just have a small bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, it doesn't have to be in a liquid, but it always comes in a bottle. Well, the one we're talking about basically comes. We have definitely said it comes in a bottle. We now add to uh -huh. that that it but sometimes... But it doesn't have to. It can be solid, this product? Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it a soap of some kind? Mm, no. no. Two down at eight to go, Mr. Sir. Uh, Mrs. Gill, has this product uh, got, or does it produce some kind of pleasant odor or scent? Yes. Would it be the sort of thing you might drop into a bath to make the bath smell beautiful? Is it, yes. Is it some kind of a bath oil then, or soap, or uh, perfume that you drop in the tub? I don't know what you call those things. Bubble, bubble. Bubbles or something that sort? <laughs> <laughs> <Is it? laughs> okay. the, um, you've identified it's a bubble bath. Now, what does Mrs. Gill have to do with saying? Well, I suppose she takes them occasionally. <laughs> uh, do you uh, help sell them? Sell, I think we'll have to take. Sell bubble bath. And I must say that uh, one reason I didn't, couldn't take the foamy thing was that we were in the bottle area, and the bubble bath does not have foam in the bottle. It only has it when you have it in use. So I gave you a no on that, Steve. I trust you would agree. And you've come too far just to get two points, so we'll flip a couple more cards for fun. And thank you for being an interesting guest on What's My Line. Nice to see you. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, 
My friends in the panel have blindfolds because they would recognize our guest immediately, and the blindfolds are all in place, panel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Will you come in, Mystery Challenger, and sign in, please? Panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we dispense with all of the usual preliminaries, get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you in the entertainment world? Well, yes, I am. Hmm. Are you in show business rather than sports? No, uh, I'm in show business. In, yes, show business rather than sports. Are you an actress? I hope so. Are you, have you ever been in the motion pictures? Yes. Have you also been on the stage? Yes. Uh, would you say that you are better known for your work on the screen than on the stage? Um, yes. Are you the leading lady type? Yes. Do you play in a straight movies and plays rather than in musical comedies? No. Small conference, terribly sorry. <clears throat> terribly glad. Probably. I would say it was varied. It was what? Varied. 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 Oh, you can do both. Yes. Um, you can sing and dance as well as act, in other words, or sing or dance as well as act. I, I have, yes. Um, may I assume that that southern accent is put on to defraud us? Well, no, I really am from the south. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this, Miss Dorothy, I do not think... <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I don't think we want to mislead you. The accent as you are hearing it now would not be normal to our guest in casual conversation, so you go on. Well, if I'm south, it's normal. Yes. <laughs> well, well, do you, you really are geographically from the south of somewhere? The south of somewhere, yes, the south of the state. <laughs> <laughs> well, do, do you sing? Uh, y yes, I, I, I do, occasionally. Gosh, that's a familiar voice. Do you sing more than you dance? Yes. Sing Melancholy Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. That's just what I had in mind. Um, have you been in a picture that's played um, in these here parts in the, the last year or so? Yes. And um, were you all the heroine that the fella got in the end? I was. <laughs> Um, are you blonde? <coughs> no. That's you one down and nine to go, blonde. Mr. Allen. Are you brunette? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Spencer. She's bald. Well, if you're, <laughs> <laughs> if you're not green or white, then you must be redheaded. Is that it? Yes. Are you at the present time making a picture at West Point? Well, I don't think so. I don't mean at this very moment, but I mean tomorrow morning. No. no. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Seth. Uh, I wouldn't be, want to be accused of prying, but is that red hair natural? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have you um, ever appeared in a picture with Bob Hope? Yes. Uh, have you ever appeared in a picture with John Payne? Yes. Gosh, I have not mind, um, uh, well, can I take a stab at this? Uh, I'd be awfully... Stab away. I would Just say... Don't it. hurt me. <laughs> I hope there's you, no pain. You sound a little bit like a lovely girl called Rhonda Fleming. Oh! Oh, yeah. Wow, well, that's one out of six to go, Miss Gilgallon. Well, I just had another idea. Maybe it'll be just as much off base. Um, do you have any other interests? I know it's difficult to picture a charming sounding redhead, uh, being in business, but do you have some business that isn't show business? Yes. Oh. Does it involve uh, something terribly alluring, like nighties and things like that? I cannot tell a lie, yes. Are you Arlene Dahl? Yes. Arlene Dahl is right. All right, 
panel, you made a pretty good score tonight. Now let's see what you can do with a final challenge. Would you sign in, please, sir? John. John Miller, right? How are you? Where are you from, Mr. Miller? Uh, Long Island. Long Island? Wow. It's getting late, so we'll just take you over. You look at the panel, let them look at you, and then you come on over and sit down with me, huh? Because I want you to... <laughs> Brother. <clears throat> All right, now, Mr. Miller, on the basis of this very quick look that the panel has had at you, we give them one free guess. We have only about three minutes to go. We always begin the free guesses with Miss Kilgallen. He writes poetry. He writes poetry, <laughs> Mr. Allen. No. I think he's Arlene Dahl's bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. I think he's a life-saving expert. Mr. Sir. I think he's a son of that sword swallower and knife thrower we've had on very. <laughs> no, places. I'm afraid not. Let our viewers have a further look at Mr. Miller. At the same time, we'll tell them what he does. The panel's got to go to work. All right, Mr. Miller. I'm sure you know how we score this thing. Mr. Miller is uh, self-employed. Let's begin the general question with Bennett, sir. Well, Mr. Miller, does that uh, tremendous physique of yours play any part in the work that you do? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. And your work is mental rather than physical. Well, <clears throat> yes and no. Uh, you're very tan. Do you work indoors? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Allen. Not unless... <laughs> There's no roof on the house, of course. Not unless he works at the Shinola factory. I don't know. <laughs> we have less than two minutes to go. I have practically nothing to say, so it's all right. Uh, <laughs> is there a product connected with your work, sir? No. That's three down and seven to go, <laughs> Miss Francis. But all of your work keeps you out of doors. Yes. Basically, yeah. it's out of doors. Uh-huh. Do you work on land? No. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Well, that leaves the sea and the air. I'll choose the sea. Do you work on water? Yes. <laughs> do you work you on do. water? Uh, you have something to do with a boat, in other words. Yes. Are you possibly uh, an official of some kind on a boat? By that, I mean an officer. <laughs> Anywhere from second mate, bosun's mate, up to captain. From ordinary seaman up to captain, you mean? Yeah. And this covers all of the um, elements Oh, you're going to give me a no, I know. Yes. Oh, it's yes. Uh, would, would, uh, would this be a boat that uh, could be found in New York Harbor? No. A boat that Any could be found in New York Harbor? Be... No. That makes it five down and five to oh. go, Miss Kilgallen. What kind of a boat couldn't be... You a whaling be vessel. vessel. <laughs> Uh, is there any product on this boat ever? No. No cargo whatsoever? We don't have any product on the cargo. We don't actually like to have cargo on this boat. Are you in the Navy, sir? No. That makes well. it seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Uh, is this boat a medium-sized boat rather than a large seagoing vessel? Yes. Uh, is it, uh, you say there is no cargo in it. Are you a navigator of any kind? Uh, yes. We have to find out what Mr. Uh... Actually, that's part of his responsibility, I would say, yes. Is it a sailboat by any no. chance? A sailboat? No! No! Uh, eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. And this sir. boat is not found in New York Harbor. No, his boat isn't found in New York Harbor. But would boats like it be found in New York Harbor? Mm. Oh, but it's yes. a Boston Could ferry be. or no. something. Is it any kind of a ferry boat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Sorry. Well, that's all right. Uh, you have a sweetheart in every port. Uh, are you an officer on a ferry boat? Yes. Yes. Are you what? the captain of the ferry the boat? captain of a ferry boat. That's right. John, where does the ferry boat go from and to? It goes from Patchogue to Davis Park. Patchogue to Davis Park, which is across the Sound all the way, right? Great South Bay. Great South Bay, not in the harbor. Well, John, thanks very much. You gave him a lot of trouble, and you, I hope you had some fun. It's good to have you with us and watch my life. Until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Dorothy. <laughs> good night, Steve. Good night, Dorothy. Good night, boys, and good night, Arlene. Well, that covers about everybody, except <laughs> Bennett. Good night, Bennett. Happy Detroit and Fort Wayne. I'm not going by ferry, either. <laughs> good night, John. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like ferry boats? <laughs> <laughs>
I think they're fine. I think we had a wonderful time tonight. Good night, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Life? <laughs> This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. In association with the CBS Television Network.